hello everybody and welcome back to another youtube channel as you can tell by the title this is going to be my newborn favorites and my newborn must-haves i've got a list on my phone um it's, evie is now nearly five months old so these are the things that really helped us in the first couple of months of having Evie and what I would 100% get again if we were to have another baby. Um, the first thing would be for feeding, I bottle fed Evie and we use the Tommy Tippy bottles, we use the small ones and they were terrible, they leaked constantly so I wouldn't recommend them but we did get the man bottles and she's been brilliant on them. Also on the basis of feeding for it, the first week of Evie's life because she was having such little um, ounces, she was having like two ounces, we didn't do the um, powder. We got the pre-made bottles that you can buy. I will insert a picture somewhere on here of the pre-made bottles. You can get them in small little bottles and get the big version. And we just bought them and we done them for Evie. We found them easy, the easiest thing to do. Put them in some boiling hot water for them to heat up. And they were done within like a minute because of how little the food was. So that was a complete game changer. I think we stopped using them when Evie was, I think she was about two weeks old. And then we bought the formula powder. Um, also with feeding... We we swear by these little muslin squares. Oh, this one's the cutest. It's got like I don't know if you'd be able to see, but it's got little stars on. No word of a lie, we have about twenty of these, and I'm tempted to go out and buy us some more because these ones are a bit fuzzled now. But oh, they're just so easy to put underneath their chin when they're feeding, so they can wipe up any spit or put any dribble. They're obviously perfect for winding, wrap it around, put it around your shoulder and win the baby. And if they are sick, it comes up on here. Just generally good to have about. And obviously Eve, Evie's dribbling a lot now. So these are perfect just to wipe her mouth when she's got lots of dribble on them. But yeah, these are 110% my top pick is lots of muslin squares they are only cheap i think these were like four for four pound and obviously if you were to tumble dry them they do go bigger but we just tell dry ours but they're also good what i found was in evie's moses basket obviously you'd have the cover you'd have the protector you'd have the cover and then because she was sick a lot we'd always put one of these down so this would catch the sick rather than having to keep changing the um Moses basket um fitted sheet because we only had like two of them and obviously with a baby they are constantly in rotation so that's for feeding for day-to-day -day life Evie was born in December so it's one of them awkward months because obviously we travelled a lot in car and you can't wear snowsuits or coats in a car which was a bit, um, not a bit annoying but you just have to make sure you wrap the baby up. So Evie lived in, well she still does, in these really thick cardigans. So she'll have one of, she'll have a sleep suit on, her baby grow, a thick cardigan, a hat, some mittens and a nice thick blanket because she can have the blanket but obviously when you're actually in the car the blanket has to come off because you don't want it to overheat because we always put the heating on in the car anyway so thick cardigans are a lifesaver and also I said it from when I was doing my baby hauls baby grows the more older Evie's is getting I am putting her in outfits but I think that's more because I've got the outfits so why wouldn't I put them on her because they'd just be going to waste but nice little baby girls you can't go wrong with them she is moving up a size now so I am gonna wash all of her three to six month clothes but lots and lots of baby girls and I'm not gonna lie to you the first couple of months 
a Vivi's life I was doing a laundry bag of her washing every three days she'd be she's she was a very sicky and pooey baby and as soon as she'd get a chance she'd either poo and it would leak everywhere or she'd just be sick all over it so lots and lots of baby grows also these built-in mix were perfect when she was newborn but as she gets older she likes to suck her hands so they just become soaking wet I am gonna miss these little baby boys um out and about as well I would also recommend having a car seat that clips onto your push chair base which we did we had the kid kinder craft or kiddy craft um push chair and it was great because obviously the base fitted in the car and we went out she got the car seat from the car and plonked it on and it was perfect um i definitely recommend that rather than taking them out to put them into the um what are they called the travel cot system part of it because that can be a bit tedious and takes up room in the car sleeping wise for evie we didn't use sleeping bags with amelia because she just didn't like them but evie's really taken to her sleeping bag and we have this sleeping bag which to be fair she, i'm going to need a new sleeping bag so if anybody has any good recommendations for the summer sleeping bags then i will be happy to know but yeah she loves being in the sleeping bag Evie likes to lift her legs up, she always has done, and move her legs. So obviously, have been a bit in one of these, it grounds her a bit, and she sleeps better. On the other note of sleeping, I would 110% recommend the Next to Me crib. When Evie was first born, she was that small, she didn't like it at all because it was massive. But I think when she got to about six weeks, she out. Well, she didn't outgrow her Moses basket, she still fits in her Moses basket, but we felt that she would be big enough for the next to me. And she's been in there since about six weeks old, and she slept all night through in it. We've had to put our um, side up now because Evie likes to move about and she'd end up in our bed with the boys. Um, so I've put the guard up, and to be fair, she's still got lots of room in it. Um, which is bonus so her sleep suit a sleeping bag and then her next to me works wonders and then for also at night time in the early days when she was sleeping through we used this little elephant thing he plays music which can be annoying when it's on repeat <laughs> And it also lights up. But we haven't used this in, this in a while now, to be fair. She just hasn't... She hasn't needed it. I suppose she can self-settle herself now, which is good. But I would definitely recommend... You have lots of different ones of these. Like you have Ewan, is it Ewan the Sheep? And you, you can get loads of them. You really can. It's not just this one. But this is the one that we got. And that was really good obviously dummies Evie didn't like her dummy when she was first born but now that she does we used let me just get it we used the mam glow in the dark dummies and these are a lifesaver in the dark when you can't see anything just put your hand over feel for a dummy and it's there and it also lights up in the dark so if you was awake you could see it but yeah but we have we are changing her dummies now, but definitely for newborn, they're so tiny, and Evie really took to them. So, playtime walls, any soft toys is good for a baby, but my mate gave me a little, I think it's a feeding pillow, isn't it? But we didn't use it for that. When Evie was newborn, we'd literally, I'd insert some pictures actually, we would get her and just plonk her in here and she'd chill out or now that she's a lot older we use it to sit her up and obviously it is good for feeding not like if i'm sitting on the sofa that would be there and she'd just happily lie here and it would free up 
my arm. So, a nursing pillow is what I think it's called. Is a must buy as well. Um, the nappies that we used were quite good as well. We did use, we used Aldi's um, premium nappies and they were amazing. We used Aldi up until Evie went into size two and then we just stopped shopping at Aldi and obviously we didn't want to keep changing her nappies but so far she's been really good with the little angels and the Aldi nappies. Um, and that's all for my favourites. If there's any questions you would like to ask then feel free to leave a comment and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!